Alright, so what's going on? I'm Audrey Zimini. Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And if you couldn't tell by the title and the thumbnail already, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a particle trail shop using commands on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So if you want a more in-depth look at how to make particles or particle trails, um, I've already made videos on those. They'll be part of my command block playlist or you can just type in Instant Orbits Particles and they'll show up. Um, but ever since I made them videos, I've been getting a lot of requests to make a particle trail shop. So that's what I thought I'd do today. I'm going to show you an example of how it works and I'm going to show you the commands. And um, there is a little problem with this, however, is because we're making it with particles, if you want to make it to say they can buy multiple particles, um, I haven't figured out a way to stop that because uh, I've kind of just done this um, without any help from anyone. So if anyone has any ideas behind this, um, you can let me know. But however, what I've done today is I've made it so you can remove or add the particle back so people can have multiple particles if they have paid for it. So I think most servers do that i know cubecraft doesn't like you can have like the hot ones or only the hot ones etc um but like multiple realms etc i've done it like this and then most of you can figure out yourself either way um if you want to so i'm going to show you example how it works and i'm going to show you the commands so we've got the particle one here and i press the button you can see my money goes down there by 500 and when i walk around you can see there is a particle coming out of my back however if i try to buy the second one now it will also let me and I have two particles going. So before I do that quickly, I'm just going to remove this particle. So I bought it, so I still have it. But you can see it's gone there now. And then when I go to buy this one now, you can see it also removes another 500. And I have this epic particle trail following me. I said I was going to use this as an example. It looks so sick when like, you do circles and stuff. I mean, it just looks really cool. It's kind of messy, so I'm not sure if people would want this on servers. Um, but personally, to fly around and look here, it does look... It looks pretty sick. I'm going a little bit off topic here, lads, but this, this does look sick. Um, I haven't set up the rebuy system for this one, so I'm going to have to manually uh, remove this. So if I remove um, particle 2, there we go. You can see the particle is now no longer following me. And then because I've already bought this particle and I want to get it back, if I just press add again, you can see the particle is now behind me and I'm running around with the particle behind me. I didn't use like epic heart ones or anything, just because I kind of wanted to show the example. Um, but you can mess about with the particles. The link to the particles will be in the description below. Um, so you can go and check out all the particles available. I'm going to turn this off just so it's not following me here. So, I'm going to show the commands now and I'm going to explain it to you how to do it. Just before I do get into the commands though, please make sure you put the chain, chain commands on chain, conditional, always active. Okay? If you do not have it on conditional, it will let you do stuff without having the right amount of money. If you put it on unconditional, it will let you. So please put it on conditional. Okay, I'm getting so many comments on a shop video, like the first shop video, saying that it still lets you do it. It's because it's on unconditional. Please, please, just watch it carefully because it's gonna, you, you're probably going to easily make mistakes on this. I'm, I, I had to make a lot of changes to this before uploading it, uh, including a rebuy system. So please watch it carefully so you do not make the mistake and you're not commenting it doesn't work when it does indeed actually work. I just wanted to make sure you all knew that just before we got into this. So the first command you want here is an impulse unconditional needs redstone command and in slash scoreboard players test at P money 500 star. So what this is doing is it's testing if the player who's pressed the button has the money between 500 and infinity, which is 2147483647. You can, if you only want people to buy it, if they're between 500 and 1000, you can set it to that. But if you want it to be when anyone has any amount of money, they can buy it, i do 500 to star. Once you do that then, you want to chain conditional, not unconditional, conditional, always active command, and the slash scoreboard players remove at P money 500. So what this is doing is it's testing to make sure you have the minimum amount of money, 500, to the maximum amount of money, which is infinity. And then if it's able to do that, it's then removing the money that it's required, so 500. And once it's done that, we once again have another chain conditional, always active command, and a slash tag at P add part one. So that's the name of the tag that I've used, part one. It's short for particle one. Um, so what it's doing is now, I have now bought particle one. This repeat command block here is a repeat unconditional with active command and it's slash execute at all with the tag of part one. Squiggly, 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 particle, 
Minecraft dot dot balloon underscore gas underscore particle squiggly squiggly one squiggly. I'm not going to go into too much depth because this isn't really the main part of this video, but it kind of is because particle trails. And um, I've already made a tutorial on particle trails. I'll leave the link to that video in the description below, or you can just type in insane orbits particle. Um, so you can go and watch a more in-depth tutorial on how to make particle trails. Um, I'd recommend watching that because I'm not going to really explain this too much, but it's basically just executing and then it's making a particle go one block from them. I, I, I use this example, this exact example here in the in particle trail video, uh, so definitely go give that a check. It's the exact same thing for this command over here. I just made it the exact same price. So once again, it's just testing between 500 and star. Once again, chain conditional It's then removing the money and it's then in now instead it's tagging them with add part two. I did try adding a chain on conditional exact to command at the end here that would remove part one. The only problem is it'd work as soon as they press the button. So if they don't actually buy it, they've just lost their particle trail. That's why I set up the rebuy system, which I'll show you in a second. And obviously this is just the exact same command here. However, now it's a different particle, which is Minecraft, Elephant, Toothpaste, Vapor, Particle. And it is five blocks above them. Um, like I said, I'll be, I'll be leaving a link to the particles in the description below as well as the particle trail video. So you can get a more in-depth example of this. And however, now it's just tag equals part two. Now, for the rebuy system. So what the rebuy system is, it makes it so you can remove the particle and add it back whenever you please to. So, for the remove, we have an impulse unconditional needs redstone command and a slash tag at P, tag equals part one, add rebuy one. So what this is doing is if they already have the particle, um, part one is now letting them get rid of it because they don't want to use it anymore, but it's then adding them rebuy one. As soon as it adds the rebuy one, we have a chain conditional always active command. And a slash tag at P, rebuy one, remove part one. So what this is now doing is it's removed their particle, but because they have the tag of rebuy one, it means they'll be able to get it back. For the add one here, if I click it again, I don't think I removed it. Yep, you can see I have the particle back now. It's an impulse on conditional needs redstone command. I'm just turning this off. It's, it's, it's a little bit annoying. And it's the exact reverse. It's slash tag at P, tag equals rebuy one. And now it's giving them the particle back. If it's giving them the particle back, now we want to get rid of it. So slash tag at P, tag is part one, remove read by one. The only reason removing read by one now is because then if I want to remove it again, I'll be able to. But if I don't get rid of re if I don't get rid of the read by one tag, this will not work. As for this command block, will not trigger as I already have the tag. And um, I hope I explained that well. I tried my best. Um, I, 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 I'm kind of, I literally just built this today and I'm recording a video on it. Um, so I hope it is okay. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like it. It's very appreciated. If this been you want to join the content on the channel, you want to see more. If you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe. You can help this ongoing, rapidly growing community. You can join the insane army. Uh, we just hit 7k subs from when I'm recording this. I don't know how much I'll have when it comes out. Um, but thank you all for that. I'm on the road to 10k by the end of the year. So if you fancy joining and helping out, uh, you can just hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, make sure the notification bell also so you know it's an upload. I upload at 7.45pm GMT whenever I do upload a video. So definitely, definitely do miss out on that. And comment down below what you want to see next, what you thought of the video. And other ideas for those you like to see on the channel. Let me know down below and I'll try my best to make them. But thank you all for watching. Have a great day for whenever you're watching this. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one. And goodbye.